stopping by this week for this week's video. This week I wanted to surprise Dane for Valentine's Day. It is a day of love and a day to show the people you truly love how much you love them. And so I thought I would try to surprise him. Every year I normally get him like chocolates or candy or something. But this year, I thought what better way to show your love for someone than to make them a dessert. A dessert that is disgusting. So I thought I would make a Mountain Dew cheesecake for Dane. Dane likes cheesecake. He doesn't like Mountain Dew. He likes Doritos. And that's it, that's about it. So I'm setting myself up for a complete win here. I'm hoping he's really gonna like it, but I figured I would share it with y'all so that way y'all would know if a Mountain Dew cheesecake is actually good or not. So we'll find out today. So with that being said, I found a recipe online. It's like DIY ways or something like that. And then they link a video to fun foods, YouTube channel or YouTube video on Mountain Dew cheesecake. So that's the recipe I will be using. I will link it down below. And if you've tried this before, please go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you have. If you did a different recipe, I've seen ones that are like Mountain Dew Jello cheesecake, which we all know my history with Jello. Mm -mm. Just check out my New Year's Eve drinks. Figured that wouldn't be a good idea. So instead, I'm just gonna stick to a cheesecake because I've done that before and I can do it again. Without further ado, let's begin. With the recipe, Generally, it calls for a graham cracker crust, but I wanted to take this up a notch and do it with a Doritos crust. I've seen online that people have done it with the nacho cheese Doritos, but I figured why not just mix two types of Doritos together with the Mountain Dew cheesecake filling. So I have nacho cheese and Cool Ranch. So with that, I need to melt my butter. I need five tablespoons of butter. It's been sitting out. Should probably also heat up my oven so that way it can melt the butter. Anytime I melt my butter, butter, <laughs> butter in the microwave, I end up making it explode and then the whole microwave is filled with melted butter and it's disgusting. So it's just easier to do it in the oven. If you have that issue, life lesson, oven. All right, butter is going. So I have my springform pan here. I'm going to spray it with Pam, so that way I don't have any issues later on. Now I have my food processor to crush up all of the Doritos. What are your favorite type of Doritos? I personally prefer the Cool Ranch, but now they have all these different spin-off ones that are also so really good. And maybe I should have just gotten like a plethora of Doritos, like all of the different flavors, and just put it in there. Now this is weird enough, right? We're gonna try to keep the ratio pretty equal. So we'll do like one handful, one more handful. Pretty nice. I'm definitely gonna need more than that. A little bit more? I think a little bit more. Why not? It's gotta be enough, right? If not, we'll find out. All right, I need to put these away or else I'm gonna eat them all. Oh. Just look at my hand. It is covered. Are you one of those people that just likes the, the seasoning off of your fingers or do you like wipe it on your jeans or do you actually just go wash your hands? I'm a person that will lick the finger, my fingers, but this is a little bit excessive. So I think I should wash my hands before moving forward with anything. That's a really interesting smell. Like you get wafts of Cool Ranch and then wafts of nacho cheese. With that, I need the butter. It's not melted yet. What can I do? I can start putting all of the ingredients into my pot because I have to mix sugar corn syrup and Mountain Dew together to create this syrup and get it up to like 230 degrees and 
and then I mix that in with the cream cheese filling. So I should start working on that. I was honestly really worried that I wasn't gonna be able to find Mountain Dew. For some other reason I had it in my head that I thought they went out of business and they were no longer selling Mountain Dew, but they are. Here's the proof. Little known fact about me is that I used to actually really like Mountain Dew. Then I stopped drinking soda and I also found out how bad Mountain Dew is for you. Like actually health wise, I hear it really screws with like all your organs and stuff. So I don't highly recommend doing this. I feel like it's probably good because I'm cooking it, but I don't think you should drink Mountain Dew on a daily basis. But you do you, you only live once, right? Oven's heated. But I'm gonna try this. No, I don't like that. And then I need a half a cup of light corn syrup. This is taking forever. All right, I think that's close enough to a cup and a half. No, it's like right under a half a cup. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. We will move on to the next step. You think the butter's ready? It's ready. All right, so the butter goes into the Doritos. Might need more butter. It's just a little bit more butter. I don't hate it. I'm gonna start cooking the, the syrup or whatever it is. It's got like a whole thing. It's like gotta be on there. It's gotta get to a boil and it's gotta get to 230 degrees and then it's gotta get cooled back down to room temperature. So it's a whole process. So we'll just start it now. We're just gonna have to be patient. I just want y'all to see how much seasoning there is on this one Dorito. And I don't need your judgment. I know I said I wasn't gonna eat any more of them and I put them out of arm's reach, but then I went to the sink and it's fine. But just look at this. The amount of seasoning on this chip is impressive. I must eat it. Mm. Probably one of the best Doritos I've ever had in my life. Another thing I can do while I'm waiting is to create the cream cheese filling. This time I am going to use my KitchenAid. I don't want to be here working forever, trying to beat some sweetened condensed milk and some cream cheese together. Not my cup of tea today. So we're just gonna try to get this cheesecake done to perfection by using man-made products for us. That's what they're meant for. It's for us to use them to make life easier so we can enjoy life longer and more. So we will use the kitchen. Is heavy. <laughs> So you will need two bricks of cream cheese softened. I don't know if you've ever just ignored the softened part, but it really does make a huge difference. Just let it sit out for a little while. Just a little while. Got him. I like cheese a lot. I like cream cheese also. I like flavored cream cheese. I like all cream cheese. Put cream cheese on bagels put cream cheese on toast, put cream cheese in cheesecake, put cream cheese in whatever well, makes you happy. I hope this makes Dane happy. Let's check on our butter now and hope that we can put this together. It's ready. Oh yeah, definitely much better. So if you're just kind of like eyeballing it, just go with what makes your heart feel happy. That's what I've decided. So yeah, this is pretty well mixed. So we're just gonna pour it into the pan. And we're gonna spread it out. This Doritos crust is gonna be the best crust in the entire world. Gordon Ramsay, I'm coming for you. All right, so I think that's a pretty good crust so far. Now it has to go in the fridge to like set. Ooh, the sugar has melted. So now I'm gonna put this thermometer into it because it has to get to 230 degrees before we get it to room temperature. 
So it's just gonna go on in there. And it's going up, I don't know. It's just gonna beep. Ignore the beep, it's fine. We're gonna call it a day. We're gonna pretend like the beep isn't even there. It's at like 189. So what you'll wanna do is after you put all of this together with the cream cheese, you'll put the sweetened condensed milk in there. It has to be 14 ounces of it. So we'll put all of that together and it'll be tasty. That way. I feel like I'm just waiting on things to pour all day. And now we're just gonna mix this. This is taking forever. The amount of love that is going into this, Dane has to love it, right? Even if it tastes like complete garbage. Is that 227? You think that's close enough to 230? I'm, I'm just gonna call it. I really just wanted that thing to shut up. All right, and so now it just has to cool for a little bit. What in the world? I turned it off. Why? Okay, now it's turned off. Maybe I just didn't turn it off properly before. So before I do it, I have these two bowls because I'm supposed to separate out this filling once I put that syrup into here. And then I'm gonna put food coloring in it to make it blue and green, or yellow. So green looking in the end. This is gonna look nasty, but I hope it's not bad. I hope it's not. But I mean, the whole goal of this is actually to make bad food. Not really bad food. I want it to taste good. I want it to sound so weird that it actually is really wonderful. The Sour Patch Kids were just underwhelming. And so I'm hoping this is just overwhelming. Like it's just mind boggling how wonderful this actually tastes. I'm kind of hoping, other than the fact that I used Doritos as the crust, that it kind of tastes like a key lime pie or like a lime flavored cheesecake. I don't really know what it will be because the Mountain Dew tasted like crap. I guess we just have to cross our fingers and hope that it's wonderful. I'm not really worried about it. Actually, I am. It's not like the end of the world. It's more just a fun food experiment. Because I'm so impatient, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and not wait for that thing to get to room temperature. The guy on the video said that the syrup is supposed to cool to room temperature and then you use a fourth of the cup of the syrup in here. But like I've said already, we're going bigger, we're going home. So I'm gonna put more than a fourth of a cup. I have so much of it. I don't know why they make you get that much of it. So we're just, we're just gonna eyeball it. We're gonna call it day, we're gonna see what feels right. That feels right. Sure, it feels right. I'm steaming. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I think that's good. I feel good about it. Needs more flavor. I'm just gonna put the whole thing in. There we go. It actually doesn't taste awful. All right, so I need just a little bit in here. And then the majority of it in this one. Looks good. So yellow is supposed to go in here, and then blue is supposed to go in that one. And then I have to mix them. So we're gonna use this guy. We're gonna mix him. Look how yellow it is. All right, I need this to be more blue for sure. This wasn't gonna be blue enough for me. I need it to be like blue. Why did I do that? <laughs> I was so angry. Blue. I guess this is as blue as I can get it. So now that I have my colors and my things, I'm gonna move this stuff because there's gonna be a project going on right here and I need space. So my crust is hard now, which is great. So that means we pour in the blue filling. You remember like on Nickelodeon when they used to slime people? It was green slime for sure, but that's what this reminds me of, is slime. The slime that Nickelodeon used to dump on kids' heads and adults. Kids and adults. So basically now I'm gonna take the yellow and just like drizzle it on top and then I'm gonna like create a swirl effect. I've never done this before, so I'm not going to say that I'm good at it. I don't know if I am. I don't know if I'm not. I have no clue. We'll learn together. So just like a little bit here and there. 
so I'm just gonna try to swirl this. All right, I think it looks pretty this way, so I'm gonna just stop. So now it has to sit in the fridge for three to six hours, something like that, until it gets solidified. So I'm just gonna put it in the fridge, clean up and hang out for a little while, and then I'll let you know how it goes, and then Dane will come in. We'll both try it together. We'll see. We'll see if it's good. I don't really know. See you on the flip side. yesterday and I would like to say that my cheesecake is still not congealed it is kind of it moves so I've done something wrong again it's fine but we're still gonna give it to Dane because that's all the love you need in life right is whenever you put so much work and effort into something and that is what Valentine's Day is about is showing the people that you love how much you love them so we're gonna give Dane his surprise Dane you gotta yell for anyone. Dang! There you go. That's more normal. Close your eyes. Oh. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Close your eyes. Put out your hands. Happy Valentine's Day! What is this? <laughs> it's a Mountain Dew cheesecake with Dorito crust. And I did it very, very good. It's it's Cool Ranch and Nacho Cheese Dorito. Oh, both? Both mixed together on the crust. All right, all right. Are you excited about this? No. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh no. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay. <laughs> it's a block now. Got you a fork here. Oh, do you want to put it on a plate? What's the point? <laughs> I don't think there's any point now. All right, we going. I did do a taste test doing it all What'd together. You think? I gotta get some of the crust. Yeah, you do. I don't wanna miss out on any of the Doritos. That was what the plate is for, Dean. <laughs> wonderful for you. So I, uh, it said to put a, a quarter of a cup of the syrup that I made with the Mountain Dew, and I put like a cup and a half, because that's oh. how much it made. Yeah, so I figured insane. I just had to put it all. Yeah. Yeah. So Why would they make you make that much and not put it together? This is good. Oh, yeah, totally. It's the best. Would you rate this as your number one cheesecake ever? No. <laughs> no, I would not. <laughs> five. Number five? Yeah. What's number one? All the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> it's not good at all. Um, happy Valentine's Day. Thanks. I love you. I love you too. I hope you enjoyed your Valentine's Day surprise. It was surprising. It was, wasn't it? Was it was surprising. I didn't realize it would do this, so at least it was a surprise. All right, well, friends, now y'all know Mountain Dew Cheesecake. First of all, don't do what I did. Just follow the instructions. Just don't do it. 
I think they follow it the way the instructions said, so look at the link down below. And if you wanna see more disgusting foods, let me know if you have any ideas. I think my next one's gonna be like meatloaf jello. We'll see. Um, but go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and I will see y'all next time. Bye.